had to have her own restaurant. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> I'd be I'd be in my golf cart with, with a flag on it, right? <laughs> <laughs> my dad, you know, saw you know what, what was happening at the diner, got a little bored, and he says, um, "There's a diner uh, for sale in Milford, the Milford Diner," and I'm like, "Yeah, let's buy it." I'm like, wow. And that, that's pretty much where the partnership with my dad started. I, I got this thing, I take a real little restaurant just to keep myself busy. We ended up, you know, opening Milford. We learned a lot doing that, of course. One owner is really kind of easy. Boom, boom, boom. When you have two owners, you've got to respect the other owner. All you got to do is listen. And those are the things, you know, Especially if you're your daughter. It's hard. He comes in one day and he says, um, let's, um, let's change the meatloaf recipe. And I'm like, change the meatloaf recipe? Like, you can't do that. What are you talking about? Like, I'm not trying to change it. I wanted to see if we still got the best one. Right. That's the biggest it's thing. It's always trying I, to make that's it That's what I try to do all the time. You know, what, what I've found out now, it's been how many years, 10, 15 years that we've been, you know, partners. And we really balance each other very well. Um, we found our place together. Um, he, he pretty much, he does a lot in the diners. He does a lot with the food. My role, making it better every day. You have to make it better. You can't go out that door without saying to yourself, did I make it better today? Started with the Manchester location. My dad came, we bought Milford together. Then he's like, I think let's do another one. I'm like what, like another one? Uh, you know, okay, I guess so. You know, I, I then came London Dairy. So you always step up the pace, step up the pace. And that's, I'm used to, I like the pressure. And we just kept going. And again, the opportunity came up with Concord. Let's do it. And that's doing good. With all of, you know, voted one of the top 10 diners and just having fun and, and branding, you know, the diner, making it a brand and getting the word out. Guy Fieri came to the diner. And, you know, I had the Food Network literally call and say, can Guy Fieri come to the diner? I'm like, hello, like, am I gonna say no to that? The Guy Fieri, he put us on a map, you know? Put the, he put the name on, it's still there. We're also huge into the politics. Uh, every uh, primary, they're, they're coming to us, and you know that keeps us in the spotlight. We are the place to be, uh, you know, for all of the news medias. Adam Sandler is a huge customer of ours. We were actually in, you know, his Grown Ups 2 movie. He built a set for us down in uh, Massachusetts. Everybody's always at the diner, and you know, for myself, family, my staff, it's, it's amazing because we always have a front row seat. It's pretty cool. Hundreds of stories I've heard from people about the Red Arrow and about coming here. And it, it is really a place that is known so far beyond Manchester. Um, it's just amazing the extent to which people have remembered their experiences here. I'm very proud of what we have done with the Red Arrow. It wouldn't be what it is today without the customers my absolute loyal employees. I mean, I have people in the Manchester location that have been with me for a long, long time, like you talk with Penny today. Like, I, I worked third shift for 20 years. Okay, so then now I've been on first shift for quite a few years. But my customers that I waited on on third shift, now they come in during the day, they don't go out at night anymore. And, and they'll come in and say, Penny, you're still here? I'm like, yeah, and you're, you're out in the daytime, you know? <laughs> What's going on with that? When you take a you know a diner, and when we need um, you know when we're looking for like a, a maybe a new manager or you know we always try to promote from within. I learned a tremendous amount from Carol and George. I just worked hand in hand with them, and everything I know was really 
directly from them. She started as a part-time receptionist, worked her way right up to the, in the company, you know, worked side by side with my dad every single day. I became chief operations officer. So um, yeah, I'm tasked with running the company on a day-to-day -day basis. GMs meet every year, every Thursday morning. We go over everything they've done and uh, they can pay accordingly. You know, that's how we, we do it. We do it in center plan and that's a big success. When we went that way, it was jumping again. My dad is 78 years old. He's not slowing down. It's like he wants to do another location, he wants to do another, you know, I'm like, what the heck? Like, I should be the one doing that and he should be the one saying, let's stop, but it's not, it's the opposite. Bigger and better. Always bigger and better, but also keeping our roots. You know, we always want to make sure that everything that Carol designed and created for the Red Arrow in Manchester, our flagship, that we continue that throughout. So that's why the owner-operated really has worked for us, because we can keep a grasp on that and make sure that all of our uh, customers are getting that same experience that we started with. Known by name. It's like Norm <laughs> from Cheers, yeah. Well, no, we know most of our regulars by name, yeah. Know what they want. You know, they have to tell us that they want something else because we're just going to go over and put their order in. You know, no questions asked. <laughs> Dad, what do you guess my favorite food is at the restaurant? Wow, let me see what yours would be at the restaurant. I don't think you're going to guess that. I don't think so either. If you ask anybody, my go-to is the haddock. I knew you were going to ask that question. Veggie cheese hash brown special. I have two. I know what his is. The first one is a darn good hamburger. And I believe me, that was the whole thing. We went way out. We have pure brisket that goes in there with uh, the highest quality chuck you can get. But if I was to eat breakfast food, I would have to say that it would be one of our Eggs Benedict. We do uh, lots of specials, chicken fried steak, Eggs Benedict, sausage gravy, it's to die for. I love our liver, onions, and bacon. Oh, you're kidding. Mm. We try to joke with our customers. We know a little bit about them. They know a little bit about us. A Red Arrow version is someone that has never been here before. And what we do for them, we find out where they come from, we ring the bell, get everybody's attention, you know, point them out. We have a Red Arrow version right here, Donald Trump from New York. Let's give him a welcome, Donald! Oh, everybody claps for them, and then we give them a sticker so they've been de virginized at the Red Arrow Diner. <laughs> I've been you have it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people grow up, yeah. And they see me growing old, you know. So what comes around goes around, like I said. <laughs> to be able to work with him day in and day out, uh, for me, I, you know, I, I, I love it. I love it's like, it. It's likewise. No, it is. It's very, very, very nice, you know. Uh, Dad, I think you're getting weepy. No, no, it's the allergy. No, okay. no, this eye is bad right now. Oof. Really looking back, I'm just so proud of what, what we have become. You know, the Red Arrow is around to stay. <laughs>